Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the black smoky eye that I have on right now. I've uploaded a black smoky eye makeup tutorial before, but it was like ages ago, over two years ago, I think. And in all honesty, a lot has changed in terms of my makeup application since then. Um, this is literally how I would wear a smoky eye if I had to wear one for every single day of the week. Now, nothing is going to change. This is how I'm going to wear it. So this look is super easy, really, really easy. And I'm just going to quit talking and get right into it. If you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. I'm going to start off by moisturizing and I'll be using my Black Hawk Ultra Mattifying Rebalancing Fluid. And I've been using this as a moisturizer lately and my makeup just looks and feels better. You know, it controls oil so well and I don't get oily as quickly as I would. And my makeup just lasts longer whenever I wear this under my primer, under everything. So, I'm going to start off with it. And just like, I put about one pump and worked it into my palms and then I'm just patting it into the skin. To fill in my brows, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil in dark brown. I'm going to take my trusty old blending brush. I've had this for years, it's from Coastal Scents and like it's literally dying. And I'm going to use it to blend the concealer out. I'm priming my eyes and I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion and this one is the original formula, you know, the one that comes in a cute purple tube. Okay, for the smoky eye, the first color that I'm going to apply is Makeup Geek's Eyeshadow in Morocco. And it's like a burnt orange shade and I'm going to apply it right above my crease. Like very, very close to the concealer that I have underneath my brows. I'm doing this with a MAC 224 blending brush and this is just going to create a very nice transition for all the other colors that I'm going to apply from here upwards. So right underneath Morocco, I'm going to go in with MAC Eyeshadow in Saddle and it's like a very nice medium brown shade and this is my MAC 217 and I'm going to apply this directly under Morocco and just take it upwards like this. With every smoky eye, it's really, really key to blend. That is the only way to honestly achieve very smooth transition. And it's all about the transition really because the color that goes all the way up here to here, it's usually very very dark and you don't want a harsh line that just you know wherever the dark color stops and then you have your harsh line and then you have your highlight shade no this is really really important this this building that I'm doing here <laughs> on my brow bone I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in lace and I'm just using this to set the concealer that I have in this area. And I'm doing this with a Sephora Precision Shadow Brush. To make sure that I don't have any harsh lines from that application, I'm going to go back in with Morocco and my MAC 224 blending brush and I'm just going to blend that area out. So I'm applying NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean and this is the black 
jumbo pencil is the only black one i think that they have and i'm applying this onto my eyelid area i'm just going to pack this on and blend it out gently afterwards and this is going to give the black eyeshadow that i'm going to apply here something to stick to I'm going in with a blending brush from Juvia's Place and I'm going to use this to and I'm using this to blend out the edges no this is this is too big I'm going to change this brush okay so this is another um, brush from Juvia's Place and it's a lot more narrow so it's going to get into this area very well and I'm using this to kind of soften the edges of the black bean that I just applied on my lid, I'll be using this black from my Sam Fine for Fashion Fair palette. This one is called Tunisian Night and my MAC 239 brush. And I'm going to pack this onto my lid. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in Fudge. Then I'm going to start saying ABH because this Anastasia Beverly Hills saying it is, it's very, it's very stressful on my mouth. English is not my first language, I'm sorry. So I'm going to take this ABH, I'm going to start saying ABH from now on. So I'm going to take this ABH dark brown shadow and this one is called Fudge and my MAC 217 and I'm going to use this to blend out the edges of that black that I just applied. I'm going to go back in and reapply a bit of my highlight color because I seem to have lost a bit of it while I was doing all that blending. And I'm also going to go back in with Morocco, the first shade that I applied with my MAC 224 and I'm going to use it to kind of um, put that whole burnt orange transition back into the crease because I also seem to have lost it. That's the thing with blending. You will lose some colors but whatever, whatever you lose, just know that you can always easily go back and retouch it but just make sure that you've blended everything out and that your lines are very very smooth and not hash. I'm going to line my waterline. I'm using this flat brush from Juvia's Place and my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean, the same one that I applied on my eyelid and I'm just going to smudge this on my lower lash line and it's going to serve as a base for the black shadow that I'm going to smudge onto that area. I'm using a small pencil brush to blend out the edges and I'm going to be using a mixture of Morocco and Fudge and I'm applying this just right underneath the black. It's going to create something similar to what we have going on in this area. I'm not going to be lining my upper eye area because I feel like my eyes are already really defined as it is. It's with all the black eyeshadow and the black liner in my waterline and underneath my la la lower lash line. And I just have a lot of black going on. I don't need to line. So I'm just going to go on ahead and apply my falsies. And I'll be using the Dimma Lashes by Lena Lash. I'm just quickly going to comb through my lashes while I wait for my lash glue to get tacky. I'm not doing too much. I just want to make sure that my lashes are all facing one direction. And this is also going to help my lashes gel properly, like merge properly with my falsies. To prime my face, I'll be using one scoop of the Elemasca Matte Veil and I'm patting this onto my skin. It's going to help control oil and also help my foundation last a lot longer. For my foundation, I'll be using my Maxio Fix Fluid as usual and I'm doing like three pumps and my Real Techniques expert face brush
So highlight, I'm using my NARS Radium Creamy Concealer in Amand. I'm not going for a super bright highlight. So I'm not going to mix it with caramel. I'm just using this. And you guys know the drill. Apply it, blend it out, the beauty blender, you know. To contour, I'm using Black Opal Stick Foundation in Cairo. To set my contour, I'm using cinnamon from the ABH palette. To set my entire face, I'm using my Black Up 2 Way Cake in TW11. I'm going to highlight with my Bobbi Brown Highlight Powder in Bronze Glow, and I'm applying this with my Real Techniques Contour Brush. To add some color to my cheeks, I'm using my sleek blush in coral and I'm applying this with my Real Techniques blush brush. To make it a little bit more intense, I think I need more color. I'm going to go in with my NARS Taj Mahal. It's a gorgeous orange blush with lots of glitter in it and the same brush. And I'm just going to dust this lightly over coral. I'm going to line my lips with MAC Lip Pencil in Plum. I'm going to be using two glosses, both of them from Anastasia Beverly Hills. The first one is Sepia and the second, 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 really. I'm going to first go with Sepia, which is like slightly darker and butterscotch will go in the middle of my lips. They are both like very nudish colors, but this one is lighter than this one. So here is the finished look. I really really like it. It's slightly edgier than the first one but definitely a lot more me now if that makes any sense. You guys should let me know what you think though. I don't know. I like it. I'm also open to suggestions for whatever it is you guys would like me to film next. I'm not really sure what to film after this video and I am open to suggestions. Don't forget to check the description box for a list of the products that I've used for this video in case you missed anything. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.